Welcome to our guide on how we measure jeans and other pants here at Ironheart. Please don't simply assume the tag size on your current jeans means that's what you should order. It's worth taking the time to check measurements. On each product page on our website, you'll see from the description if the fabric is likely to shrink or not. And it's obviously important that you take any possible shrinkage into account when choosing the size to order. Some of our jeans and work pants are made from raw denim or other fabrics that have had no post-weave treatment and will shrink. As a rule of thumb, you should look for the size you want to end up with after wearing them for a while, as the jeans will stretch back out to approximately pre-shrink dimensions. Raw denim tends to be stiff, and some of our raw denim jeans will stand on their own, but they do soften up with wear, we promise. If the product description says the denim is samphorized or one washed, this means there should be no shrinkage or shrinkage will be minimal when the jeans or pants are washed with reasonable care. In this case, the rule of thumb is to find a fit that will be snug to start with, but will stretch out to the size you want depending on the final fit you want to achieve. So, if your best fitting jeans have an actual waist measurement of 34 inches after wearing them for some time, you should look for a new pair of iron hearts with an actual waist measurement of approximately 33 inches to allow for some stretch. Each model of iron heart jeans or other bottoms on our website has a set of measurements that are specific for that model, given in inches and in centimetres. Of course we do get slight variations from published measurements, so if, for example, you decide you need a 34.5 inch waist and we're showing that the model you want measures 34 inches, let us know when you order, and we'll see if we can find a pair that measures up slightly larger than average. And of course, the same applies to other dimensions such as rise, thigh, etc. Patrick, who's had plenty of practice, is going to demonstrate how we take the measurements. Firstly, the waist should be buttoned and laid as flat as possible so that you can take an accurate measurement across the waistband. This is then doubled for the full waist measurement. Getting a true waist measurement is really important as once you've got this pinned down, you can look at the dimensions on the different models to work out what type of cut is going to suit you best. Front rise is measured from the crotch seam to the top of the waistband. The rear rise is a little tricky because the seam is curved, so pull it out as straight as possible. The measurement is again taken from the crotch seam to the top of the waistband. For the thigh measurement, Ensure the leg is laid flat and take the measurement across the top of the leg immediately under the crotch. Your measuring tape or ruler should be at a right angle to the outside leg. This measurement will include a little of the fabric at the back of the leg, which means you measure the full width of the thigh and not just the width of the front of the leg. The knee measurement is taken 13 inches down the inseam, straight across the leg. And the hem or opening measurement is simply across the hem of the leg. Inseam measurement is taken from the crotch all the way down the leg to the hem, following the curve of the inside leg seam.
And that's it. Many thanks for taking the time to watch. Happy measuring. <laughs>